Hey, what's up guys? It's Bye Bye here again. So, a couple days ago, uh, I made a video telling you guys that I will be using XY and Jenkins Scan in my next KVK. Uh, I also told you guys about the talent trees that I'll be using and the equipment that I'll be using on him. So, uh, for talent tree, uh, I'll be using max skill talent tree here, right? Maxing out on the skill talent tree and the rest of the points going to the cavalry, okay? And for the equipment, uh, I will I will definitely be using a Horn of Fury on him to get him more rich. So like after I release that videos, uh, a lot of you guys like reach out to me and be like, oh, you'll be like go over go over the rich limit and whatnot and blah blah blah. Uh, so today we'll be looking at a side by side testing, okay? And at the end of the video, I will tell you guys what I think when you should go for more rich based on my opinion okay guys so let's go right into the side by side testing video here uh okay so in this video today testing we're going to be comparing uh xy check scan with max feral nature on the left hand side and we gonna have uh, the same xy and jacket scan on the right hand side but this time i am adding in the additional equipment which is the Horn of Fury. So we'll see what are some of the differences. So at the bottom, you can see 0, 0, the two number, or the number of times that I was able to cast my skill. Okay, so I keep track of the number of times I, I am casting the skill there. So let's go right into the side-by-side -side comparison here and see. So both, both attacking at the same time here, right? So there is now all one, one guy attacking before and one guy attacking after, right? You can see the damage the same here. 2711, 2711, 1486, 1486 for both commander here, both side testing. Okay. Okay. So you can see that on the right hand side, I have Pharaoh Nature plus Horn of Fury. And the left hand side is just Pharaoh Nature. You can see that, you can, you can notice it right away that uh, on the right hand side, I was able to get to the, the max wish. Probably a second faster. So. One thing about the Horn of Fury is that it is a very, very good initiating item. What do, you, what do I mean by initiating, right? Like when you first get into the initial contact with the enemy, the Horn of Fury is very effective in that initiating, right? You, you will most likely going to get that actual one or two seconds when it comes to skill casting. Uh, by all means, right? If you don't believe me, give it a try. If you have the Horn of Fury, if if you like can if you like into like hit and run, the Horn of Fury can, can help you a lot because it can help you cast your initial skill very very fast. So that is the very very good thing about the Horn of Fury, and one thing that I I really really like about it. So that is one thing. So on the right hand side, the Horn of Fury, the upper kick in the effect there, it's casting the skill at least one second faster than the left hand side, which is which is the feral nature only. So now. We go keep track of like how many times I cast the skill with the Feral Nature plus Honor Fury compared to the one on the left side with the, the Feral Nature only. Uh, three times here on the Honor Fury and Feral Nature, you can see the number increase here on the amount of time that I am able to cast my skill. Uh, you can see that on the right hand side with the Honor Fury, I am slowly, slowly trying to gain that additional turn rise there on the right hand side. And I believe when it comes to turn number, it's about right here. I think it's around turn 6 or 7 here is that is when I kind of like get that additional one turn because of the additional equipment for the Horn of Fury. So right around 8 turn here, I was, still, I, was get, I was able to get my first additional turn right there. Right, so the Horn of Fury is definitely working. Right, uh, and here, so now, right, you can see a consistent, right, and one extra turn right here, right, I am always one turn ahead of the side that only have feral nature, and now we'll see when is, when it comes to the next time that I will get another additional turn, okay, uh, I think it's probably around turn 17 or 18, I believe. Uh, 
16, right? I am like somewhere around up to the two turn already, but it's not consistent, right? So the left side is still able to catch up here. But I think around 10, maybe 19, right? I think now it's pretty even here. Right? So here is when I get the additional turn right here now, okay? All right, my range is even more than the left hand side here. So the Horn of Fury still work, right? The Horn of Fury still work pretty well. Uh even with even when you use max feral nature. Okay. So that uh probably just try to get like one thing out of the way there. Since a lot of you guys say, oh the Horn of Fury is gonna be useless if you have a max feral nature. But uh the reality is that it still work. And after this testing video, and I, I'll explain to you guys why the reason behind why I want to stack more rage on XY. And another thing I need to let you know is that uh, in terms of damage, uh, for the testing right here, uh, the one with Feral Nature and Horn of Fury was able to deal an extra 60,000 mods unit, kill, kill an extra 60,000 mod units. It doesn't show the number here, but uh, in the re at the end of the, the thing, I was able to see it. Uh, the one with Horn of Fury and Feral Nature Max was able to do, I think, around 60,000 more units compared to the one with the Horn of Fury. Um, so, uh, with that out of the way, so let's go back into, like, when should you try to get as much rage as you can on some of the commander, okay? Like, when? When is it worth it to use Feral Nature? And when is it not worth it to use it? So... One thing you need to understand is that each commander in Rise of Kingdom come with a different active skill. And they don't have the same power ranking, right? Some commander have a strong, very, very strong active skill. And some commander do not have a strong active skill, right? Let's see. Let me ask you here, right? XY active skill, 1700 AoE skill damage, 30% debuff on three targets. Let's see, if you want to compare XY active skill with, let's say, Nabucha. Nabucha active skill, only 1500 AoE skill damage. Who's, who have a better AoE skill damage? Who have better active skill? XY, there is no question asked, right? Or if you had to compare with, uh, let's say, uh, Gilbert match. Right? Gilbert match, single DPS. Single target, 1500 damage. Enemy debuff here, 30%, but again, right, only a single debuff here. If you're asking me who have a better active skill, XY or Gilbert match, it's gonna be XY. It's it's like a no-brainer there, right? So like when does it make sense for you to stack rage? When it when does it make sense for you to go for that feral nature? When does it make sense to, for you to give it that horn of fury? That is when you have to look at the active skill, right? What can the active skill can bring to the table? Right? Like if your commander have very very strong active skill you go try to cast that active skill as often as you can right so you might want to opt into like getting more rage getting using that horn of fury so that you can cast your skill more often because your active skill a the number one key right is the ones that can get you the most dps the ones that can help your team fire a lot better right and like i maybe like maybe i'll be using Max Feral Nature on XY and get him the Horn of Fury because it's worth it for him to get the active skill out as, as often as I can. But uh, it might not be the best idea for you to use the, the Horn of Fury and the Max Feral Nature on the Butcher because the Butcher skill is not as good, right? So for the Butcher scenario, you might want to max out on the Archer skill time tree instead and maybe not going for the additional rage here. Because he doesn't bring a lot of things to the table with his active skill, right? Or in case of William, right? Like William active skill alone is only 1500 AoE damage with that 30% max speed reduction. But if you're looking at his 4 skill, his 4 skill also based off his active skill, right? If his active skill can hit multiple targets, he's going to get a buff. So now you are looking into using the, the max feral nature on two skill here for one commander and not just one skill okay so it's worth it for you to try to get even more rages here on william so that he can cast his active skill as fast as he can right so like when when it comes to like using what talent tree using what equipment 
you gotta think you gotta put like some thought into your commander you gotta think okay does it commander have very very strong active skill should i try to go for more skill casting time or should i try to go for more stat base okay and based on my opinion right on my personal opinion on callus of battle on the field right some of the commander it is so much worth it for you just to go for that max feral nature okay and i, I hope today's video will explain to you guys uh and kind of stop the whole discussion here like oh this skill time tree is trash this skill time tree doesn't work i mean like you gotta think you gotta think about the commander that you'll be using right what can the time tree what the time tree can do for your commander okay guys and i hope you guys enjoy the videos guys and thanks for watching peace out